Our next question is from someone called John, and he asks, it seems to me that it is my will that holds my attention in my body when it desperately wants to escape out into some addiction, spirit or thought. Mm -hmm. Is not therefore any practice that strengthens my will helpful to eventually hold my attention in my body when it wants to escape when intense emotions are rising? Mm -hmm. And is this not why those who get to the sixth sphere on thought control alone mm -hmm. and then go back to the third when they start feeling their emotions then progress more rapidly than those who haven't first learnt thought control. Because they've developed a certain strength of will to hold their attention in their body. The will directs the attention, focus, mm -hmm. as the neck turns the head, eyes. Which is why God called rebellious Israel stiff-necked. <laughs> to explain that reference because sure, I don't know it. Sure. The question is, mm -hmm. does not the natural love pass mm -hmm. or thought control requiring a great deal of will then become helpful in eventually holding the attention on causal emotions? Yes. Uh, well, John, you're pretty, it's a pretty complicated question and I need it to is. go through the question with you because there are quite a number of false beliefs that you have about the use of the will coming from the intellect, for example, and also about progression from the sixth sphere into the divine love path. Mm -hmm. In addition, there's quite a lot of false beliefs about what the natural love path actually is. Yeah. So, so in addition to that, you have some truth <laughs> mixed yeah. in with all of your question as well. Uh -huh. And so what we'd like to do is dissect it a bit so that we can dissect what's truthful and what isn't. Firstly, let's focus on the natural love path. Quite often people are referring to the natural love path as an exercise of the intellect. No, the natural love path is a lo path of learning how to love mm -hmm. naturally. <laughs> In other words, learning how to love from your soul. Learning how to love other people and learning how to love yourself. So while God is not involved on the natural love path, the love is definitely involved mm -hmm. and therefore the emotions are also involved in learning how to love. So people who learn how to love and progress on the natural love path will progress. If a person does not learn how to love, it does not matter how much they use their intellect, they will not progress on the natural love path. As I've said in previous answers to previous questions, they're not on any path at all mm -hmm. towards love. So using your intellect doesn't mean you're on the natural love path because you can use your intellect and not be on any path at all mm -hmm. when it comes to love. So we need to make sure there is a separation between <coughs> our concept of the intellect and our concept of the natural love path. Mm -hmm. The natural love path is all about learning how to love. It doesn't involve God, but it certainly does involve learning how to love from your heart people around you and learning how to receive love and learning how to give love to yourself. Yep. So it's an essential part of your progress, whether you, whether you progress towards God or not. If you want to be happy, you're going to have to learn how to love. And it, while it may involve your intellect, it is not the result of the involvement of your intellect. It is the result of you learning and feeling love. Uh -huh. That's how you progress on the natural love path. Yeah. So we, know, we need to be very specific about that. Secondly, there is a misinterpretation in his question about the use of will. Mm -hmm. John is basically suggesting that the use of your will comes from your intellect, mm -hmm. and that is not true. The will is, a, is an expression of the soul, yeah. and the intellect is just a tool that the soul uses to express its will. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the use of will is a soul development tool. Mm -hmm. It's not an intellectual development tool. Mm -hmm. It's not something we can intellectually develop either. And yes, a person who progresses intellectually in love and finishes up growing in love without God is having to have an extreme use of their will to do so mm -hmm. over many, usually hundreds, if not thousands of years. So of course, 
they do now know how to use their will. Uh -huh. That is true. So there is development. There is development the in the soul yes. of the use of will. Mm -hmm. And the use of will has to be developed whether you're on the natural love path or on the path to God. You must learn how to use your will for properly. Well, on that point, I can use my will to shut down my emotions you really can. strongly and I can develop the use of my will in that way. That's not going to help me though because... It may help you if you shut down the emotions that are negative in the use of your will in the sense of how you become more expressive with your love. Oh yeah, no, I'm Do sorry. I I'm mean, it's not going to help me when I then decide that I want to focus on causal emotions. My will is already, it's not, will is not a tool that we just put a task in front of and say, go do that it thing. It can be, it, it can okay. be. So it can be a tool that you put a task in front of and say, this is how I wish to use my will. Yes, mm -hmm. it can be. Mm -hmm. And that is a soul based function. So the, the use of your will is a soul based function. It is mm -hmm. a feeling that comes with it. And when the feeling is there, your will will be very strong. So for example, if you have a strong feeling and many spirits who are on the natural love path develop a very strong feeling that they want to love. Mm -hmm. They learn usually by the time they've passed into the second dimension, the second sphere of the spirit world, they've learned that the way to progress is to become more loving. Mm -hmm. And so what they do is they feel that they want to love. They, they, they want to love. And that's coming from their soul. It's not coming from their intellect. Yes. So what they now do is they now use their intellect to suppress the emotions that cause them to be unloving mm -hmm. and highlight the emotions that cause them to be loving. Mm -hmm. So they're basically using their intellect to select their emotions. Mm -hmm. And as they do that, the emotions that they deny the expression of get pushed aside and, and pushed down. Mm -hmm. So therefore they become less powerful. And the emotions they allow to go, which are all to do with emotions regarding love, they allow to be expressed. And so what happens naturally is there is this sort of uh, widening gap between the emotions they no longer allow because they know they're unloving and the emotions they allow because they know they're loving. Mm -hmm. And so they are actually progressing in the soul, not with their intellect. They yes. are using their intellect to progress but there is actual soul progression in love. Mm -hmm. The only reason why they've gotten to the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth and sixth dimension is because there has actually been a soul progression in love. Mm -hmm. Not because they've used their intellect to love, mm. but there has to have been a soul progression in love. Yeah. But it's a soul progression in this one aspect of love and or the, the, the aspects of natural love. In other words, the love that comes out of them towards other people and the love that they allow from other people into them and the love that they have for themselves. They have grown in the expression of those particular things and become more loving naturally in those things. So when they've reached the sixth sphere, they at least know what it means to be loving to other people. You see, the average person who's in the first sphere doesn't know that. They don't know what it means to be loving to other people. Yeah. They have no idea. So the average person who hears about divine love or natural love in the first fear has no idea what's being talked about because mm -hmm. in both cases they just think it's addiction that's being talked about. And so they have a, a deep confusion about love. Whereas a spirit who's progressed to the sixth dimension does no longer confused about natural love. They are completely in harmony with the expression of natural love in their soul. Not just in their mind, but in their soul. They love being loving to other people. They love being loving to themselves. Mm -hmm. They have a desire in their heart to do so. Yeah, so their soul has progressed. So their soul it? has progressed. Yeah. And their soul has progressed using different techniques than what we would normally use if we we're on the path to God. But it's still progressed. Right? Even though it might have taken many hundreds or thousands of years, it has still progressed. The soul has actually had to make changes in love. Right? Yeah. And that has not, while it's been helped by the intellect, it has not been controlled or forced by the intellect because there has to have been things that have happened inside of the soul to make the change. And the use of their will is one of those things. They've had to exercise a very strong will to actually no longer feel and act upon emotions that are unloving 
and to only feel and act upon emotions that are loving. Mm -hmm. So this is where they're still harming themselves in a way because they're suppressing a whole group of emotions. Yep. But they're at least acting upon the emotions that are loving, which they was, was not what they were doing when they're in the first sphere or in the hells, or probably when they were on earth. Mm. They're having to act in harmony with love. They're wanting to love. So it's like a person here on earth deciding, well, I want to love animals, so I'm not going to eat meat anymore. Now, even though they may have a feeling they want to eat meat, mm -hmm. They've decided with their intellect that it's not loving to eat meat because that's not loving to animals. And they want to love, so they use their will, which is actually a function of the soul, yeah. to force themselves to eat a certain way so that they become more loving. And in the process of that, they forget what it's like to eat meat. Mm -hmm. And so eating of meat becomes a forgotten practice. And, they, and sometimes, though, there'll be emotions associated with eating meat which makes them smell the meat or whatever, and they go, oh, I'd like some of that. But, it, but it's a fleeting thing. It, they, they, it passes away because of their strong desire, their strong use of their will, that they want to do the right thing, do the loving thing. Mm -hmm. And you do have to exercise that kind of willpower, whether you're on the divine love path or on the natural love path. Mm. You must develop the exercise of your will. Yeah, and that's, I suppose, what I'm finding interesting is the idea that we can develop will and that is distinct from the emotions that, m that motivate will. Correct, that, it's that not. That is a quality <laughs> within itself, Correct. the development of will. And these come and from the soul, so therefore they are driven by emotions. So the development of will is not an intellectual process. It can be assisted by your intellect but it's not an intellectual process. There's going to have to be changes in your soul for your will to be fully engaged. Specifically related just to the use of will, not yes. necessarily about how you want to use your will. Correct. Mm. It's just, so uh, the reality is that some people on earth who use their will in terribly uh, vindictive and, and evil ways, once they learn divine truth, they then use their will to the same extreme in yes. that. Yes. And they, so they progress very rapidly yeah. because they are used to using their will in this very powerful manner, mm. right? And then there's other people on earth uh, who, who basically go, oh, I don't really care, like I don't really care about anything. They never use their will at all. And often they take years, hundreds, thousands of years to progress because they're not used to engaging the use of their will, yeah. either negatively or positively. Yeah. They just are like apathetic. And as a result of their apathy, they have no developed will. Mm -hmm. They don't know. And they go along with whatever anybody suggests to them as a result. And that's how they live the rest of their life, yeah. going along with everything without doing anything. It's the people who powerfully use their will who find progression the easiest. Right? So you've got to powerfully engage the operation of your will, whether you're on the natural love path or on the divine love path. In you, if you're on the natural love path, you will powerfully engage your will to become a loving person with the way, way you express and receive love towards yourself and others. If you're on the divine love path, you will powerfully use your will to engage this loving relationship with God as well as do what the person on the natural love path does, engaging their will to become more loving with other people. Mm -hmm. This is how you will engage your will. So now that we've clarified that yes. and we examine the question again, we can yes. see where there's errors in the concepts. So it, John is saying, it seems to me that it is my will that holds my attention in my body. Yes, it is his will that yeah. holds his attention in his body. Yeah. And when it desperately wants to escape out into some addiction, some spirit interaction or thought, it's his will that keeps him back into the emotions that are present within him and into his body. Yeah. I agree. He says, is not therefore any practice that strengthens my will helpful to eventually hold my attention in my body? Yes, it is. Yeah. Anything that helps you strengthen the operation of your will is a soul-based progression. It is definitely going to help you to progress, even if you're going to feel, whether you want to feel emotions or not, it's going to help you progress. So can we talk about that in terms of ways to strengthen our will? Well, because I we feel that's a completely different question, perhaps. Okay. Like, I feel we need to ask that maybe as the next question. Or like, how do I strengthen my will? Is okay. a good question. Yep. And, and it needs to be answered directly. But I feel, firstly, we need to answer this question. We need to acknowledge, yes, that 
there are practices and any practice that helps you strengthen your will is definitely going to be helpful in your progression in love, whether that progression in love is on the natural love path or on the divine love path. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It will help you progress in love. Now, this is where he goes wrong with his reasoning. He says, and is this not why those who get to the sixth fear on thought control alone? No, nobody gets to the sixth fear on thought control alone. There must be a soul-based exercise of their will to become more loving to get to the sixth fear. Yes. So it's a soul-based interaction to become more loving from a natural perspective, to become more loving with my brothers and sisters and with myself. Not loving with God, but loving with myself. And so, so the way I have got to the sixth fear is not by thought control alone, mm -hmm. but rather by using my will in a very strong way to deny all of my unloving emotions and, and engage all of my loving ones. That's what I've done to get to the sixth dimension. And so I have learned, if I've got to that stage, to use my will quite strong. Yes. Now, if I've used my will in that regard to feel emotion as well, then I am well tuned to receive information about God. But if I've used my will to deny certain emotions, I am going to find it very, very difficult to use my will to do the opposite thing because I've become addicted to, divide, to putting down emotion. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's n we can't presume that a person who's in the sixth sphere will find it easy to go back to the third sphere and then progress on the divine love path because that is not the case at all. The majority of our emotional injuries revolve around God. So therefore, um, and also by the way, the all of those injuries are emotional. Yes. And if I'm used to denying the emotion rather than accepting it and receiving it and working my way through it, mm -hmm. or I'm used to denying God, I'm going to find switching over from the natural love path to the divine love path very, very difficult. You can't assume that every sixth sphere spirit finds it easy to go back to the third sphere and onwards. In fact, the majority I've spoken to find it almost impossible to do that. Mm -hmm. So we can't assume that they find it easy. Mm -hmm. However, they do have a very good exercise of their will. And when they do decide yes. to start feeling their emotion, and when they do decide to really give it a go, that's not a thought either. That's not a thought either. That's yep. a feeling. Yep. When they decide in their heart that they really want to do this and really want to give it a go, then they have a tendency to progress quite well, yep. no matter what their background. All right? and, and if they have the additional problem of, not, of suppressing their negative emotion, then they'll have a lot of difficulty unsuppressing those emotions. Mm -hmm. They'll have a lot of difficulty reversing what they've done for many hundreds, if not thousands of years. It is difficult to reverse those processes. And sometimes the only way to help them is to take them back to their life on earth so they have a reconnection with some of those very hard and unloving things that happened to them in their earth life before they reconnect with some of those things emotionally. Yeah. So he says now, they've, because they've developed a certain strength of will to hold their attention in the body. Yes, they have, but it's not by thought control. Yes. It's by feeling control. They want to feel these things. They have a desire to feel these things that are so intense that they're willing to override certain feelings mm -hmm. in preference for loving feelings. Mm -hmm. they're, un they're willing to override unloving feelings and suppress them in preference to having loving feelings. Yep. Right? But of course, when they do this, they don't understand the law of suppression in the soul. Mm -hmm. And they also don't understand the law of dominance in the soul. The principles of dominance and suppression mean that if I suppressed, other emotions will be suppressed. So they don't feel pleasure as much as they could. Yep. In addition, because they, the uh, stuff we don't feel is dom dominating our soul, they don't realise how raw some of the emotions are that they've now suppressed. So they don't realise those things either and they have to come to terms with that. Yep. And usually a person comes to terms with that in the third dimension or the third sphere and so this is why they go back to the third sphere to learn those particular aspects of the soul. Mm -hmm. right. Now he's saying the will directs the attention, yes, but it's the will coming from the soul, not the mind as he's, as he's assuming. Yeah. Right. So will coming from the soul directs the attention 
and turns the neck if they, if they like. Um, now, the whole question about God calling rebellious if it was stiff neck was all about their arrogance and their pride and their unwillingness to actually um, turn in another direction than mm. the direction they were already going. So in other, in other words, the comment made to the nation of Israel in the Bible was all about their lack of humility from yeah. God's perspective yeah. and not about the issue of their will, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Now, the question he's asking is, does not the natural love path or thought control? Now, he's now putting together natural love path and thought control. Do not do this. <laughs> Natural love path is about progressing in love, yep. in your soul. Now, that you can use your thoughts to do so, but that has to also come from an exercise of the will in the soul to do so. Yep. So there are progressions that have to occur in the soul, even on the natural love path. Mm-hmm. So it's not just thought control. Now, of course, the natural love path has domin- is dominated by people with lots of thoughts. Yeah as a result of this suppression and dominance processes. They are trying to suppress the dominant negative emotions. And so what they've got to use is an extreme amount of their will to control the thinking about their negative emotions. Yes. So now they do have to have some thought control, but that's not the reason why they got to the sixth fear. They got to the sixth fear because their soul actually changed in love. Yes. There was a feeling change inside of them about love, mm-hmm. and that's what caused them to grow. Mm-hmm. So, so that obviously did require a great deal of will. Then he's asking whether the, whether the natural love path is helpful in eventually holding the attention on the causal emotions. No, it's not helpful. Mm. Because a person could have got there by suppressing attention on causal emotions. All he had to do was exercise his will to love Yes. Not to feel everything. Yeah. That's all he had to do. Yeah. So it doesn't mean then that he's guaranteed, once he gets to the sixth dimension, that he's going to find it easy to no longer suppress those emotions that he's been suppressing for many hundreds, if not thousands of years. He's going to find it hard yeah. to undo that suppression. Yes, because there's the will and then there's the other emotions that motivate the will. Correct. And so while the will might be strongly developed through this whole process that... To love. To love. The um, will is also strongly developed in the process to avoid any unloving emotion. Yes, so the reason the will is directed towards suppression has to change in order for the power of the will to be harnessed. Correct. Yeah. And this is why many six fear spirits find it very, very difficult. Yes. Because they're now having to exercise their will, which they've been exercising in one direction for many hundreds, if not thousands of years, Mm -hmm. towards their certain types of emotions. They now have to exercise their will in a completely different direction with those same emotions. Yeah. And this is like, for, for, for many of them beginning that process, it's like trying to find a needle in the haystack. Of course, there's usually hundreds of suppressed emotions, because the most of the emotions we're suppressing when we're on the natural love path have to do with God. Mm-hmm. So there's all those emotions all festering within the soul, all causing the dominance of the will in a certain direction to be without God in your progression. Yeah. And, and all of those have to be undone if you want to progress towards God. Yeah. So this is where why six fear spirits find it very much more difficult than John is assuming. Yes. The reality is some six fear spirits, and it's those spirits who have not suppressed emotion so much, who will find it easier than the ones who have used a lot of controlled will Mm -hmm. in order to suppress their negative, unloving emotions. The people who have used a lot of controlled will to suppress all of their negative and unloving emotions will find it very difficult to make the first steps on the path to God. Mm -hmm. And they always finish up reverting back to thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to convince a person to try an experiment when they want to talk about the experiment (laughs) (laughs) for the rest of their life. (laughs) And they don't want to try it because they don't see any advantage in trying it because they've never felt the advantage of trying it. And it's it's like trying to get a person to be childlike and just have the experience and see what the results were without their intellect being engaged. And it's a very, very difficult process often to convince a six fear spirit to make that choice. Yeah. But it's a very, very good question for our six fear spirit friends. Yes. Because many of them will need to at some point go through this process where they now use their will 
no longer to suppress the unhealed negative emotions that are unloving, but rather to work through the reasons why those emotions still remain within their soul. Mm. And that requires, it does require an extreme amount of their will to do so. But many of them have used their will in positive directions in the past. Yeah. So there's no reason why they can't use their will in a positive direction with this particular aspect of the soul as well. Yeah. And just to recap, you've said the will originates in the soul and it's a not a thought control process. Correct. And it can so engage the thoughts, mm -hmm. but in the it has to begin with a desire in the soul. Yep. Yep. So we can't confuse the will or the natural love progression with the process of thought control. Correct. And they're, two com they're all completely independent things. Yep. So that's one thing. The second thing you've pointed out is that the development of will, the strengthening of will can be helpful when the motivation or when the emotions um, that motivate the will are in a positive direction or a direction Correct. towards God. So, so you could say that a person who's on the natural love path has used their will in a, in a partially positive direction in that they have used their will to become more loving towards themselves and to other people. That's a beautiful use of their will. Mm -hmm. But they haven't yet used their will to become in a relationship with God in a loving way. Yeah. So they haven't used their will in that direction. Yeah. Yep. They've also used their will to suppress their negative thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's another way that they've used their will in a destructive way for their own soul. Yep. So gotcha. they have to undo those particular aspects of how they've used their will, yeah. which is often difficult if you've been doing that for many thousands of years. Yeah. Yeah. And probably the guts of John's question is really about feeling that strengthening his will which he believes is thought control, is going to help him with his causal emotions. Yes. If he, if he understands that strengthening your will isn't about thought control, mm -hmm. it's about feeling the desire to strengthen your will in yeah. a certain direction. It's about a feeling that's happening from the soul. If he just focus on that, yes, the answer to that question is yes. If you strengthen your will, and there are certain techniques that you can do, you can, there's all sorts of things you can do to strengthen your will. Uh -huh. um, if you strengthen your will, you'll do well on the divine love path because every person who's on the divine love path has to have a strong will. <laughs> <laughs> Just like every person on the natural love path has to have a strong will. Yeah. Because to, to become more loving, you're going to have to use your will to do so, mm. whether it be with God or with, you know, by yourself becoming more loving with the love that's coming out of yourself. Mm. So, yes. The use of will is extremely important, but it's not thought control. Yeah. It, it is based upon feelings of want to use your will in that direction and having those feelings develop so strongly that they motivate your thoughts to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Great.